All right, Steve Hart here, Staten Island Advance and SI Live, talking to Liz Blanchard. Uh, Liz's uh, team, Villa, just beat Scanlon in an Archdiocesan and playoff game. Uh, Liz, how do you feel about the team's effort tonight? I mean, they're excited. It's playoffs. It's a new season. Now they're one and zero in the season, and you know this is what they've been working for. They had a great week of practice last week, and I, you know, with three games this weekend, this being our third, um, you know, we were a little concerned about conditioning and legs, but you know, it's playoffs. You got to step up, and they did. Uh, obviously, O'Neal and Flecker kind of uh, carried the team tonight a little bit, especially in that first quarter. You guys jump out to a 14-point lead. I guess just talk about um, you know their efforts tonight. Well, I mean, they, they got the shots, they got the right shots, they penetrated the zone, they kicked out, they knocked the shots down. Um, but again, it, it's five kids on the court that's allowing them to do that. If my forwards don't call for the ball, if my forwards don't flash or set a screen for them, they'll never get that open shot. So, um, you know, the forwards came down and rebounded, kicked it out, and we reset. It allowed them to kind of re... Re reset themselves, calm themselves down. If they missed the shot, they had the second opportunity. They had the third opportunity in some occasions, and they took advantage of it. You know, uh, they're both excellent shooters. They're not going to miss three or four in a row, so they know that, and they know that they have the green light to keep shooting. And if their team is getting the rebound and kicking it back out to them, they recognize their teams, teammates are confident in them as well. Now you had a 14-point lead in the first quarter. They cut it down to one early third. Uh, I guess what did you say to them and, and uh, were you ever like really concerned uh, did, did they voice any uh, concerns themselves? Um, they looked like they were getting a little frazzled so I called a timeout. Um, I'm always concerned until the last horn of the, of the game um, but no I, I just said to them they, they were really looking to isolate a lot they were looking to do a two man they were looking to go one on one we weren't using the clock we really weren't making the best efforts on offense the smartest efforts on offense they were making they, they tried what they thought would work and in most cases it would have but in a playoff game you, you want to use the clock you want to be smart um, you want to take advantage of mismatches but I just said to the girls allow it to happen within the offense of five on five allow it to, allow it to happen within the motion it is still going to be exposed in the motion offense you don't need to reduce it to a two-man game because then three kids are stagnant. And the result was we were so kind of still that we weren't getting back on defense, and that was a major issue. So um, I think by having them really move their motion, it allowed for a lot of back doors. It allowed them to kind of just stay stay on task on offense, and and it really allowed them to really just keep up their energy on defense as well. All right. Well, uh, as I said, you have uh, more now on Wednesday in the playoff game. Um, how do you see that? Uh, what do you need to do for that? Uh, we, we need to be ready. We need to be ready. Moore's a, an excellent basketball team. Um, they have speed. They have height. You know, they, they play hard every game. We know that. Um, so we just have to go out confident. We have to come out ready to play right from the opening tip. Um, you know, we, we've played a lot of times good with Moore. We play well. We need to we need to play for 32 minutes. You can't play for 26. Because if you play for 26, you won't win. So we have to play for 32 minutes, and that's what we're going to focus on in practice. All right. Liz, thanks a lot. Thank you so much.